Let's talk about sex. Is that good? Do you like that? So a few months ago, I made a video all about bottoming called Bottom Basics. You can watch it here. You guys responded really well to it. it. Turns out that a lot of people have questions about bottoming, and that's great. It's great to look for information about how to have better and safer sex. But I realized that something was missing because it kind of put all of the weight of responsibility on the bottoms. It's really important to know that you have to know how to talk as well. There's a talent to it, there's an art to it, and I'm here to help. So let's get into six sex tips for tops. Say that five times fast. When I was talking to some of my friends about this video the other day, the best piece of advice I got from my buddy Steve Pena, the best tops have also bottomed. In order for you to understand what a bottom is going through, it's really important for you to also have experienced it as well. I would highly recommend, if you want to be the best top you can be, put aside your fears, endanger your own asshole, and try bottoming once. I swear that once you understand what a bottom goes through, you're going to be able to provide way better sex for them because you're going to be able to understand how it feels. And I know and I know there's a bunch of you mask total tops out there who are like, yo dude, I can't bottom, I can't even try. It just hurts too much, okay? I get it, okay? Some people enjoy bottoming right off the bat. For some, it's an acquired pleasure. Like, caviar or foreign film. But you know what? If you practice, I promise you, you can probably do it as well. It just takes a little bit of getting into, if you know what I mean. The second thing you need to know is to go slow. That means preparing your bottom, perhaps with a finger, perhaps with a toy, or perhaps with your tongue. Uh, how sexy, I know. Another tip for going slow is to maybe let your bottom start on top. They're going to be way more relaxed if they're controlling the rate at which they're penetrated and aren't in fear for their asshole. Fourth tip, and I said this in my bottoming video as well, but it's just as important for a top to know. Please use good lube. My first time was a very painful experience because my top didn't have real lube. He had jurgens, and it was not good for either of us. Let me assure you, your bottom will be able to last longer, you'll both have a better time if you use real water or silicone based lube. Try it out, trust me, it's worth it. Next step, communication is key. You should constantly be communicating with your partner and listening. You can probably determine without even talking how they're feeling, but don't be afraid to ask the question, does this feel good to you, does this hurt? or make it a little dirtier, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're making sure that the experience is good for both parties, I promise you're going to have a better time. Last tip, and this is important because it's something that tops miss an annoying amount of the time. Tops, clean yourself. It is not just on bottoms to clean off their asshole. You need to do that too, because if they're gonna have their face down in your crotchal region, they're gonna really appreciate it if it's clean. Take a shower, wash off your man stank, and I promise your bottom will appreciate it. Besides the fact that if you aren't having your asshole licked, you're not really living. Broaden your horizons and your butt cheeks, and I promise you can have some of the best sex of your life next time. If you have any great sex tips, be sure to leave them in the comments below, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, angels.